A new test may help the 9 million school-aged boys and girls affected by attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. ADHD has traditionally been hard to diagnose because doctors rely largely on parent and teacher observations. I asked a local psychiatrist how this new test works and how it can help local families searching for help for their children. Watching this seven-year-old for five minutes and you can understand why his name suits him. AMP is a bundle of energy. But before his diagnosis and treatment for attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD, studying for school was almost impossible. We didn't sit still for more than like two seconds. He couldn't complete a task. When kids go back to school is often when parents first pick up the signs of ADHD. A child starts getting in trouble in class. They can't sit still. They can't focus or finish an assignment. They forget their homework. They're argumentative. But until now, the South Tampa psychiatrist tells me, there hasn't been an accurate test that would tell you if your child had ADHD or another behavioral problem. All right, buddy, I'm going to put this monitor on your head, okay? Now Dr. Kenneth Pages uses the new quotient ADHD system. He showed me how the test measures um, motion and, and attention to give objective data on the core symptoms of ADHD. It measures motion by having infrared sensors on the child's forehead uh, that a camera essentially picks up. And the computer analyzes those movements. The test takes 15 minutes. At the top here is the movement analysis. The doctor can immediately assess the report, which is made up of head movements and responses to questions. Were the answers correct? Did the child answer impulsively? Dr. Pages tells me if the machine confirms what he and parents already suspect, it helps make the difficult decision to put a child on medication. Because the first time they did it, they did it without the medicine. And then they do it with the medicine. And the difference is night and day. He's, he's a much more... Uh, easygoing child. If you'd like more information on this story or any of my taking action for your health reports, go to abcactionnews.com slash health.